Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, here we are again at lovely Home Depot. And uh, got my dry spot over here. I'm gonna keep building, uh, working on my door. I bought this uh, propane tank the other day. Excuse my mess. But flipping things too small. I thought, man, there's no way that's 10 pounds. And I, I kind of got thrown off because it says 4.9, you can see right here. 4.949 whatever kilograms I thought oh so that's 10 pounds <laughs> nope that is the weight of the uh, the weight of the thing when it's empty so it's uh, I don't know it's tempting to keep it because it is nice and small I can put it places easier but I think I'm gonna go back and get the uh, get a 10 pounder so you know, otherwise that'll that's only gonna last me like two days, two and a half days. As a backup. So this video is Zen and the art of using a pea jug in a van. And you're thinking to yourself, oh no, so Mitch, what the heck are you talking about? There's a book, it's one of my favorite books of all time, called Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. It's written in the 70s. And it's about this uh, guy who takes um, a trip across America on his motorcycle with his son. And as he's driving, he's explaining, I haven't read this book in like 10 years, so I'm not going to remember very well. But the basics of it are he's driving across America with his son on the back of the motorcycle. I think his son is like, I don't know, 10, 11 years old. Um... And as he's driving, he's talking about philosophical topics. And one of them is the, um, the definition of the word quality. And as you go along through the book, you find out that he, um, he went insane. And this trip is to help him bring him back to a connection with his son. And he's actually an English teacher. And, uh, yeah, he went to the nut house for a while or something like that. Um, and he's trying to define the word quality. And it is a fascinating book. I really recommend it. Um, it's kind of cerebral. It's kind of like I had to read some pages, like, you know, two or three times to try to figure out what the heck he's saying. You know, uh, so <laughs> a really good book. Anyway. So that's Zen and the art of motorcycle maintenance. This is Zen and the art of using a pea jug in a van. And what I'm really saying with that is, in Buddhism and Zen, the idea is to be as present in the moment as possible. Because when you are fully present in the moment, you are um, experiencing life to its fullest. Um, I remember when I used to work at a grocery store and I wanted to be in like a dead trance where you just kind of like go through the motions and you're not aware of time and um, you just want the day to go fast so that you can get the heck out of there. It's terrible to live your life like that but I was uh, you know flirting with Buddhism back then as well and I thought man why would I want to be present in the moment? realizing every single second that passes by and and I'm in this terrible job <laughs> I always thought that was really challenging so with a pee jug it reminded me of the other day when I was going to the bathroom and you know you get your pee jug and you know the things half full and you really need to concentrate what you're doing you got to be in the moment you got to be present in the moment because if you spill that pee jug you got some major problems. So you're holding the thing. I mean, the way I do it is I hold it while I'm going. And you got to be careful because you don't want to spill it. You want to make sure you know where that cap is. You want to make sure that when you put it down to get your pants back on, what's the order of the cap going back on first? Um, you know, basically, you want to get that cap back on as soon as possible to eliminate the uh, possibility of spillage. So Zen and the art of using a pea jug in a van is you have to be really present in the moment when you're using that thing to minimize the chance of a spill. So that's the essence 
of it. And I just thought that was an interesting uh, thought. Now, slightly off topic but related is what do you do if you're going to the bathroom and you really had to go and your pee jug is full and gee whiz, now what do you do? So one thing I've done in the past, and I don't really recommend it, I recommend being more organized, is, uh, you know, you go so much that the, the pee is like this close to the lip. And if you want to put your cap back on, it's going to spill over because the cap, they're like that long. And when you, it's going to displace the urine in there and it's going to spill over the top. So a trick that I've done in the past, and again, I don't really recommend this, is using some paper towel, putting it in very slowly so it absorbs the urine, and then having like a plastic bag with no holes, and then putting the plastic, uh, putting the paper towel full of urine in the plastic bag, being very careful to not drip anything anywhere. So you might say that's another time when you really need to be present in the moment. Probably a better plan would be to have a backup, uh, backup jug, and um, I actually don't have one. I haven't had one for like a year, and I need to get one because too many close calls. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I gotta go, but the thing's almost full. Anyways, guys, just a few thoughts on um, Zen and the art of going pee in a jug while living in a van. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good night.